Hey guys, Ron and A for Function Build Aquatics. And I got a little surprise in the mail today. And this is live insect feeders for my wild type betta fish. So let me show you exactly what we ordered and what our plan is. So stay tuned and keep an eye on the box. I will say one thing that you gotta be careful when you order this type of stuff and you have a wife or a girlfriend that is dead against any type of insects. All right, so let's get right away to the most, the more easier insects to check out. And this would be the Nutra Grubs, 100 count. And all these guys came from DubaiRoaches.com. And I plan on using the Nutra Grubs for, of course, my wild betta fish. And the cool thing about these guys is these are basically fly maggots large versions of fly maggots and that's exactly what the nutri grubs look like now i believe the process here is you need to store them in the fridge for about a month and they don't turn i know my betters are going to go bananas for these guys so i'm very very excited and very happy about about the nutri grubs there's one that got crushed but i'm just going to feed him anyhow to uh to the fish. So my uni maculata and some of my larger um, that is like the betta forshi will definitely take these. The antuta and the patoti will definitely take these. But there's another insect in this box that came today that I'm very excited about. And I'm going to show you that insect right now. And that bug's a little bit taboo. So let's get to the point. These guys are the Dubai Roaches, 36 count. They cannot jump, fly, or climb. These guys, I plan on actually spawning, breeding, I should say. And I can have a steady hatch of different size Dubai Roaches to feed my wild type bettas. I prefer these a lot more than crickets. And from what I've also been told, these are way, a little bit more nutritious than crickets. So these are the Dubai Roaches from DubaiRoaches.com. And my Antuta, my Unimaculata, and of course my Patoti are gonna go bananas for these guys. You have to try to offer your wild type fish, whether they're betta fish or cichlids, a variation of live foods from time to time, especially if you're trying to get fish to spawn. Now I've been having a difficult time in trying to get my four sheet to spawn. Um, and I also believe part of it has to do with pH, maybe the fact I still might be having, I still might have three males, but I also think that some live food introduction will actually make a difference. And though these Dubai roaches are too large for the four sheet, I know that their offspring, once these roaches do uh, reproduce. Hey, yes, honey. I got an Easter egg. Oh, you have Easter eggs? Yeah. Nice basket of Easter eggs. Yeah. Say hi, Em. Can we take Binky out? We don't need I Binky. I got an Easter egg. Emma's got Easter eggs, and she's standing next to roaches. If my wife only knew about this, she'd kill me. Sorry. So let's close these guys up. Sorry. So these guys are more like beetles than they are okay. roaches, to be honest with you. I got so jelly beans. I not really consider them roaches. Not your typical ugly jelly beans. Roach. Jelly beans? Yeah. It's only really super nice about jelly beans. Sweet. Now also, in the box, came the liquid crystals. These are the polymer crystals for water. And I'll read the directions on how to use this. Um, brand new to this type of uh, process. So you'll learn with me. Well, welcome to the Terra Dome. Now look at you. Now look at you. Now look at you. 